Hi there, it's Jen, and I'm back with another process video. I'm using the November 2014 Felicity Jane Autumn Skies Kit. And here I'm just showing you the photo I'm going to be using, and um, I've pulled out some of the papers already. This is a photo from my sister-in-law's birthday. In my um, husband's family, we always get together for everyone's birthdays. We all live pretty close to each other, and so um, anytime we have a family birthday, we just get together for cake and ice cream. And um, my brother-in-law put a ton of candles on two little tiny cupcakes for my sister-in-law and then lit them with like a um, torch and they were huge flames and it was hilarious. And so that's the photo I'm going to be using today. Um, I'm going to map my photo with that polka dot, uh, that gray polka dot paper and I know I want to use some of the cut aparts for my layering. Um, I liked that yellow family time, but I decided to just use the family portion of that card. And then here I'm trying to see if I want to use some of that um, pre-stitched ruffled ribbon, but it ends up not making it. I'll try it again a few times. I'm going to put some of that striped paper in as a layer as well. I didn't quite cut it long enough, so I'm just going to cut it in half so that I can fake it. I like to do that often. And right now I've got it on that peachy cardstock background. I'll end up changing that out, um, but it doesn't look too bad. I'm thinking about using some of the um, felt confetti that came in the kit. But I thought with the flowers and the, all the stripes that it just didn't quite go for this page. So I take it off. And I'm just pulling out a few more of the things that I might want to use. I thought about using the little circle wood veneer that says Brave, um, but I decided not to. That doily is from last month's kit. I just had half of it left, so I'm just going to tuck it into the side as another part of my layers. And then I'm looking at the cut apart sheet to see what I w might want to add from that. And I'm going to add um, a little tab, yellow tab, that says November. So yellow is one of my kind of main accent colors. I need to bring a little over to the right so I can complete um, the three areas that are heavily yellow, I guess. Um, that little strip that I just put at the top with this yellow ovals on it is um, cut off from one of the bottom, like the branding strip of one of the papers. It doesn't end up there, but I do use it. And then I'm just using these um, Dear Lizzie, they're like a sea foam color with white polka dots on them. I'm going to use that for my title. And I'm just resting it right next to where it says family. My title's going to be Family Birthdays are kind of a big deal around here. So it's kind of a longer title. I'm going to cut out one of these flowers from the pattern paper just to balance the flower that's on that striped um, card from the cut apart sheet. So I'm just cutting that out right now. And I'm cutting out um, a pink one. And then I'm going to cut out a smaller flower to layer with it. And right now I'm cutting out a pink one, but I end up um, cutting out a yellow one so that there's that little pop of yellow over there instead of the pink. Even though looking at it now, the pink looks pretty good. So this one is just on the edge of the paper, so I'm just cutting out. It's easier to cut out and just kind of tuck back there. I'm going to use the flare badge that says life is good and I thought about placing it just to the left of of that floral cluster on the paper. I'll end up moving it. Um, I'm also going to mount my photo on some white cardstock just to give it that extra little pop. Felt like it needed it. And then I'm going to start adhering my layers. This part, I always <laughs> adhere my layers a little differently than they were originally. But it always works out, so 
it'll be fine. And oh, that um, yellow X paper is the back of the cut apart sheet. I love both sides of that paper so much. I put down my doily and then you'll see in a minute here, I totally ruined the doily, but I use it anyway. You'll see it doesn't look too bad. And this layout was really quick for me to complete. I usually take an hour to an hour and a half, sometimes two hours to make a layout. This layout only took me about 40 minutes, so that was pretty fast. So here I am trying to move around the layers, and you can see that I just ripped that doily, and it was a nightmare. But I'm just going to lay it back down, and you can barely tell that it's ripped, and I kind of don't care. It looks fine. Sorry for my voice, I'm just trying not to cough. <laughs> Tis the season for colds, and this one's going to last forever, I think. But thanks for all your um, well wishes. I think they're helping a little bit. So here I'm trying to decide if that peach paper is really the one I want, and I'm going to audition a lot of other papers, and I decide to go with this gray cardstock. And I, I really like the way it, it turned out on the gray. Um, this is the um, tag that came in the kit. I'm thinking about layering that up with the rest of it. I'm going to glue down all of my layers. To, uh, it's kind of like to the bottom left a little bit. And I'm just going to place my title down. I wasn't sure if birthdays need an apostrophe. I'm guessing it doesn't because it doesn't belong to the birthday. I don't know. English is hard. <laughs> Um, family birthdays are kind of a big deal. Yeah, I don't think it does, but anyway, if anyone's an English major, feel free to correct me. I'll change it on my layout if it's wrong. <laughs> so here I'm trying to decide where I'm going to put that, um, that strip of paper, and I kind of like it just to the left of the photo, so here I'm trying to finagle it under my layers, and... <laughs> I ripped that doily and it's giving me problems with trying to layer underneath it and stuff. But I finally get it and then um, glue it down. And then I'm going to staple that November tab on with my tiny attacher. I love my tiny attacher. And then I'm trying to decide what to use for the rest of my title. So I don't like too much variation in my titling. Um, so I'm just trying to decide what to do with that. So while I'm deciding, I pull out the stamps because I love this stamp set and I want to make sure I get it used. And I'm, there's kind of an awkward space down at the bottom there and I was trying to see if that Memories in the Making stamp would fit in that spot nicely. And it kind of does, but I end up finding a different remedy for that, for that spot. Um, I'm just going through my letter stickers to see what, what might match, and these October Afternoon Mini Market stickers match pretty well. So I'm going to spell Big Deal with these stickers. And I don't have an L left, and so I'm going to try to use an upside down 7 as my L. And I changed my mind a couple of times. I thought, yes, it looks fine, and then I thought, no, that looks weird. And I just decided these letters were perfect, so I just wanted to use it anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, that was another branding strip I was trying to see if, would, if it would work on here. And then I pulled out the um, vellum shapes, but I decided not to use any of them. Um, I'm still undecided on that big deal, so that's why I'm looking through my other items right now. So here I add the tag, and I just cut it because I only a little bit of it was going to show, so I didn't want to waste the bottom scalloped part of the tag. And I'm going to use some of the twine that came in the kit for to add, to tie um, a little bit of twine on the top of that tag. And then I decide that for the rest of my title, I'm just going to use my typewriter on some white cardstock. So I typed out our kind of a and around here. 
I'm just going to layer that with the title. I found that the bottom of that tag fit perfectly in that little awkward space um, below my photo. So I just go ahead and glue that down there and then decide to, that that's a good home for my date. So I'm using my Heidi Swap Roller Date Stamp and um, I think I'm using Slate Ink. Yes, Slate from Close to My Heart. Um, that's my favorite gray ink. Well, that and Whisper. They're just a nice, um, they're a warm gray. So here I decide that the um, letters on those October afternoon stickers, they're, they're cream and I want them to be white. So I'm using my um, white jelly roller pen to change those and then that ended up being the perfect solution to me not having an L. I just added a little um, line to the bottom of an I and it worked out perfectly. So I'm glad I didn't give up on those letter stickers. And I find that um, I can usually make do with what I have by altering things slightly to fit my needs. And I'm sure a lot of you are like that as well. Um, but I find that as I as I scrapbook more and more, that I can be more creative with my supplies like that. And it's kind of nice. So just layering those stickers down now. I'm using the top of the card as kind of a um, way to, for me to line up my letters. And then just um, gluing down the rest of the of the words there. So I thought I was going to put that life is good flare to the left of those flowers, but then since there was a yellow flower, I just decided to place it on top of the yellow flower so it kind of took the place of that little piece of yellow on the page so that there wasn't two um, separated yellow blobs there, if that makes sense. And then I'm trying to decide if I want to add some of, of these enamel dots and I'm going to add a couple to each. Uh, I'm going to add a couple to that bottom cluster and then a couple next to family. And I'm just using a piercing tool to lay those down. And then I'm just going back over, now that this is dry, um, back over the, that white um, pen, with that white pen, to make my letters a little bit more white. And then I want to do some white splatters. And I don't have a white spray, like a, a mist. But I find that a lot of the white mists aren't very opaque anyway, so I usually just use water and white paint, and that works best for me. So I'm just using um, my favorite round-tipped brush and just dropping some splatters on kind of randomly um, from the top left to the bottom right. And when I do a, a layout with a cluster in one of the corners, I often like to splatter in the opposite corner, if that makes sense. So <laughs> I'm using my hand to wave that dry because my heat tool isn't plugged in and I don't feel like bending over to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and do my journaling. I'm using my gray Le Pen from Marvi Uchida. I don't know how, how you say that. Um, and it just says, we always gather for each other's birthdays, and it's so much fun. This time it was Melissa's, and Greg went all out with tons of flaming candles on each cupcake. So just kind of a little blurb. Um, this is the kind of thing I like. want to remember, that I can see myself years down the road saying, we always gathered for family birthdays, and, you know, that kind of thing. Those are the kind of scrapbook pages I like to make. Those are the things that interest people um, later down the road, I think. Maybe not, but <laughs> I think so. Um, I stamped that Memories in the Making stamp with my slate ink up um, where there was a little space that created a little corner up at the top left. And then I'm going to stamp the word love three times in the little corner created by these other papers on top of that yellow paper. So I like to find, um, you know this about me if you've watched my videos, like nestle, um, my items into little crevices and little places where it can snuggle up against another item. So that's going to complete the layout and I've been just loving this kit. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you'll stick around and watch for the next video which will be coming soon. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye.